The greatest video games pull you in the second you load them up. Nostalgic. Iconic. The music that plays while you log into RuneScape is one of those timeless video game moments that should be included in every conversation over the greatest music tracks in video game history. This track has been consumed and loved by countless people across the world and for good reason. Now, you can hear it when logging in to Old School RuneScape. Old School RuneScape builds upon decades worth of nostalgia to retain a player base hundreds of thousands of people strong, and all of them will tell you one of their favorite things about the game is the music. Composed initially by Ian Taylor, Old School RuneScape now lists 17 individual composers for the game's music, with a few additional tracks being composed through a collaboration of several team members, totaling 714 music tracks to be found within the game. Players unlock these music tracks through a variety of ways. While many tracks are unlocked by default and can be listened to immediately, the vast majority of music requires you to either visit a location in-game or complete a specific quest. Now, unlocking music tracks is somewhat of a reward in and of itself because it allows the player more options to fill the background soundscape while playing the game. However, there is a prize to be had by any player who unlocks every music track within the game. The Music Cape. Like every other cape of accomplishment in the game, the music cape comes with some benefits and a trimmed form, which I'll go over in a second. If a player has met all requirements, then the cape can be obtained by speaking to Olaf the Bard and Relica and handing over 99,000 GP. Wearing the music cape allows unlimited teleports to Olaf's brother Falo, who is located near the bridge north of Seer's village, as well as an emote depicting an air guitar performance. According to the wiki, as of February 2020, only 11,543 people have gotten the music cape. And I'm sure that number's gone up a bit since then, but it's still quite the accomplishment that so few people have earned. Maybe not many unlock this cape because of how hard it is to get some music tracks. I mean, just look at these requirements. If I want the music cape, I have to get a champion scroll, a dark totem, make it to the final bosses of the Chambers of Zarek and Theater of Blood, kill all four God Wars dungeon bosses, and give up a fire cape to unlock the Inferno. On top of everything, I'm kind of a noob, so this won't be easy. See, I first played RuneScape as a kid in the 2000s, and only kind of recently got into old school thanks to some good friends. It felt incredible to beat all the free-to-play quests after like 15 years from when I first logged on. I haven't yet got the music cape on my main, but I decided to start this series anyways, since I'll need to sink so much time on the grind. Because... My goal is to get the music cape as an ultimate Iron Man. Oh, and this is all just for the untrimmed cape. I can't even imagine going for the trimmed cape. Why? Because to get a trimmed music cape, a player has to complete all quests and achievement diaries and get the holiday tracks, plus all the regular untrimmed music cape requirements. Maybe someday, but for now, my sights are just on getting the untrimmed version. This will be an ultimate Iron Man, and I've never even made it to the late game on old school RuneScape, so I don't really feel the need to add on any extra difficulty. But that said, I do kind of have a few guidelines in mind. Those being, I can't spectate a group to unlock the Theater of Blood track. I gotta try it myself. I can't have a group carry me through things. Like, I mean, I gotta play the game. And I won't show every music track in full, but I will record at least me unlocking every track. I'll try to be efficient sometimes, but honestly, playing RuneScape just to unlock the music tracks seems like such a fun focus of gameplay, so I won't stress about it too much, at least for now. With that all said, I can't wait any longer. Let's begin our journey. This is Old School Soundscape on Radio 2007, brought to you by DJ Melonstack. Tune in during your adventures in RuneScape as we dive into this discography together. Play name DJ Melon Stack is available. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. DJ Melon Stack. Think of anything cooler within this this specific instance. Oh, I cannot. Okay, DJ Melon Stack it is. Here we go. What would be like somebody that would run like a 
like a pirate radio station from like their basement. Something like this, maybe? Something got like the bun in the back. Hmm. So here's something about me. I'm actually colorblind. So the hair colors, like I might say this is one color, but it might actually be a different color. Like, okay, so this this is green. This is like melons. He's got melon in the name. Melon stack. Green might be enough. This is maybe like orange. Yeah, I'm starting to feel this. You know, he maybe he's got like a green sweater on because, you know, melon stack is his name. So he likes watermelons. He likes to wear clothes that have watermelon colors to them. Kind of feeling that. Okay, I'm thinking this is the guy. I'm thinking this is DJ Melon Stack, the balding ginger with the green top. Got the gray pants, the matching gray shoes. I think he's got a solid look. I spent way too long on this. Let's just move on. And we've unlocked the ability to turn on the music. Here we go. Now we get that great music track playing. I can't see the name of the track yet. We can listen to it. How many places in the game are there curtains? Look at this. It's going right through. These aren't doors, these are curtains. It's crazy. It's crazy. We can. We can unlock organ music here. We're already coming up with speedrun strats. We're already coming up with speedrun strats. We got organ music. And here we go. This is going to be an Ultimate Iron Man account, so Ultimate Iron Man selected. Looking forward to it. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You got to examine stuff. There's some funny, some funny things in this game. I made it through Tutorial Island and I unlocked four music tracks in the process. When you teleport to Lumbridge and start the game, you unlock several more music tracks. So here's the list now of what's unlocked at the very beginning. I'm gonna go through, spend some time, showcase some of these, and figure out what my next step is.
Okay, well, I don't really need to level or skill anything for a while. I just need to run around and unlock music tracks. So, like, I don't even need to get membership for a while, really. I can just stay free to play and unlock a couple tracks. In the meantime, let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and drop all this stuff. Let's be as fresh as possible. I think that's the best way to do it. Just to be as fresh as possible, and we'll just make it up as we go along. There we go. We got the fresh inventory. There's the pile on the ground. And nothing but opportunity ahead of us. Let's go. You're listening to Old School Soundscape on Radio 2007 with DJ Melonstack on the mic bringing you the hits of Gillinor. Many of the early music tracks are quite easy to unlock, so for this episode and maybe the next couple, I'll be showing less commentary and action and spending more time showcasing the music tracks themselves. Eventually, there will be more varied content and account progression, but for now, let's just enjoy the music. For this episode, I'm going to Draenor, then Varrock, but first... Now, I could start some quests here in Lumbridge. I could talk to the cook. But I don't think I will. I think I'll hold off on questing for a little while. Because, again, I don't need to level anything to unlock a lot of music tracks right off the bat. So, I don't think I will. I think instead, I'm just going to start making my way over to our first real location. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, that guy, the fucking mugger. Okay, so this is the first this is the first boss I have to face off. This is the first guy I have to get past. Is this it's level 5 mugger. Let's examine. And I missed the examine button. Turn on run. Yo. Yeah, let's examine, but then let's also run away. Let's get past him. Let's get up. Oh, he's he's targeting. He's targeting. It's so long since I've been afraid to come over here. He jumps out and attacks people. Yep. Pretty much it. Some goblins. Regular guy. Jail guard. You gotta avoid those guys. You gotta avoid the jail guards. And we did it. We survived and we unlocked the next music tracks here at Draenor Village. This is quite the hot spot. Everybody hanging out, being cool here. Oh, he's aggroed to me. I'm getting out of here as well. Half my run energy's gone already.
with that out of the way, I can go up north now, which means I'm going to unlock some music tracks at Draenor Manor. Okay, I stepped foot inside of Draenor Manor. It's all spooky, and I've unlocked a spooky music track. So one of the reasons I kind of couldn't play this game when I was a kid was because I would start the quest to go kill the vampire in the basement, and then he would just rock me. Like, I was a dumb kid. I didn't understand the concept of leveling or skilling or anything, so I'd probably be like probably like combat level 5 or 6, and I'd run in there. I had no idea what I was doing, and this guy would just murder me, and I would lose all the precious like bronze and iron stuff that I would have accumulated I just have nightmares about this guy. Very traumatic experiences as a RuneScape kid. So I'm going to run down there. I'm going to unlock a music track. And then we'll see if I can make it out alive. And it's tiptoe. And I totally forgot I have to like actively engage the guy. So I was worried for nothing. <laughs> Now that we're out of there, oh, let's see if we can avoid the highwayman. We're going to go to the next location for some more music tracks.
Romeo, now is not the time. No. I haven't seen Juliet. I'm not looking for her. I don't know who that is. I'm going to go record more clips. And this is my first random event. Yes, I would love to go to a mind show. Who is this person? Let's climb rope. I also wanted to address that. I guess I unlock all of the like event music tracks just from doing one. But there's somebody behind me. Can I see them? I can. Someone in Green Dehide is just, they're just here. And this is supposed to be my event. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention again. Oh my goodness. I think it was, I think it was Box. I think it was Box. Was it Box? How many times can you fail this? Oh my goodness, please, please. I like the mime stuff. Give me one more chance. Okay, that was Bow. That was Bow. Or maybe it was Cry because he did the Cry first. Bow wasn't an option. Yes, okay, I got this. I'm gonna get the mime. Okay, that was Laugh. I'm watching this time. That was Laugh. I got that. This was pretty easy. This was pretty easy. If you're not, like, looking at the list of music and are doing the mime thing instead, then this is actually pretty easy. Cry. <laughs> yes. Can I stay in this instance? Can I stay in this instance and listen to the music track? Does it force me to leave? How many more times do we have to do this? Okay, that's wall. That's wall. It's just the 2D plane, so that's wall. There's another person. Okay, I can't stay in the instance. I can do the lean emote. We leaning. We're leaning, boys. We got lean. Yeah, lean. Yeah. Look at me. I'm leaning on the exhibit. I'm leaning on the exhibit and the curators can't do anything about it. Look at that. Yeah, I'm touching the glass. I'm touching the glass. This next music track is one that most RuneScape players are very familiar with. That's it for this episode of Old School Soundscape. Join me next time on Radio 2007 as I browse the audio libraries of Falador and elsewhere. 
Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite tracks are from the regions I explored today, or what you're looking forward to in the next episode. Until then, I'm DJ Melonstack telling you to take it easy. To start, let's unlock one of the best music tracks in the game. And there it is, Barbarianism. The next music tracks I'm going to unlock are in the Stronghold of Security. I'm not too confident this is going to go smoothly, though. I know you can kind of just run to the end, but I don't know. I'm, I might get killed or something. We might end up going to Death's Office and unlocking the Death music track in this episode. We'll see. My plan is to just kind of run and pause between doors and we can listen to the music there. I don't know how well that's going to go, though. There's four music tracks inside... And I gotta get to him, so without further ado, here I go. Here we go. This, if nothing else, this is a pretty funny place within the game. What? Oh, I need to set up my account security. Oh. Okay, yep, I'll be back. Okay, I set everything up. Now we can continue. The Flappy note. Where's Flap? Okay. We're rocking. Alright. Next level. Next music track. You can kind of just click through these. Like, if you just kind of mash it, eventually it'll let you through. I think it's more fun to answer all the questions, honestly. Jagex wants you to be secure. So come on, just answer the questions. Gotta read the text.
we go down, right? Down? Okay. Yeah. Okay, next reward. So far, so good. Slap head. Yep. You got one more floor to go through. I think she read the security tips. <laughs> This is the first kind of armor of the account thing. Fancy boots. So the next music tracks to unlock can be found kind of around Ice Mountain. We're gonna go to the Dwarven Mime, Black Knight Fortress. This kind of open path area unlocks a couple tracks, and even the Goblin Bill, before we go down to Falador.
Oh, hey. Got cave background. That wasn't on my list, but bonus. Okay, cave background. I'm nervous about this next one. Because the Black Knights, they can kill me. Let's try to just get right next to the building. If I get right here, can I try to open the door? <laughs> Please let me get the music. Don't kill me. Just, uh... I don't walk around for a little. Oh, let's run. Oh, I got it. Kill me. Oh, my goodness. So I think he sees me. Run, 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 run. Okay, this might be the first... This might be the first track we give up on for now. Yeah, I'm not unlocking the Black Knight track. I don't think there's any enemies on this side. It's gonna kind of take the long. Well, I'll just have to unlock that music track some other time. Wonder what's going on here. Aww. Coming up on Goblin Village now for the music track. Goblin Village. I remembered I got that cave background going down the ladder into the Dwarven Mine, so I was like, hey, there's a ladder. Let me go down here. Got too many cooks, so I'm pretty sure this is part of a quest. I don't remember ever doing it. Probably be back here sometime. Thanks for the music, though. to come up on a place that has some music tracks that many would say are iconic to the old school RuneScape experience. Balador music tracks. This guy was awesome. That's hilarious that we ran into someone. Has the music cave. Someday. Thanks to Leo, I can now do the zombie walk emote. I like the emotes because this is an ultimate Iron Man, so I can only carry so much, you know. Zombie walk's a good emote. That's a good one. There we go, with three more music tracks just south of Fallow.
next music tracks, we gotta go to Remington. That's about it for this episode. However, there are two more tracks I want to show off. First one is going to be Tomorrow. This last music track for this episode of Old School Soundscape is not only a great track, it's one of the greatest tracks in the entire game. This account just took a huge step forward. I got members. That's right, DJ Melonstack is now a full member of Old School RuneScape, which is needed because after today, I will begin leveling and training and skilling and questing and doing everything I can to level up my account and prepare for harder and harder challenges on my road to the music cape. But that all will have to wait until next episode because today, I plan on unlocking many wilderness music tracks. Before I just start running north though, allow me to talk about a feature that really impacts the music experience of Old School RuneScape. In 2021, Jagex updated how the music of the game plays. Previously, music was more directly tied to certain areas within the game. Harmony always played in Lumbridge Square, and Flute Salad always played around the Lumbridge Windmill for instance. These locations are the ones referenced in a music track's unlock hint. Ever since 2021 though, Music instead is sort of lumped together in a kind of area playlist. For Lumbridge, this means Harmony, Flute Salad, Book of Spells, Yesteryear, and some other tracks that unlock around Lumbridge all play one after another, regardless of which specific location you're in. The music is still area or region dependent, though, so songs won't start shuffling around. You won't hear barbarianism while walking through Remington, and Goblin Village won't play inside the Varrock Museum, of course. I ran into a bit of trouble when unlocking the Varrock music tracks because I was essentially just waiting for the right track to get played and unlocked. I don't want to just stand around or walk around the wilderness and wait for all the tracks to unlock. And I might not have to, I'm not entirely sure how this music unlocking spree goes down. So it's possible a ton of tracks would all just unlock at once using this modern mode setting, but I don't want to wait. For this episode, and going forward in the series, I'm going to have my music settings switch to classic mode. With classic mode, the music tracks revert to playing in the more specific areas they used to, before Jagex updated how the music plays. I am by no means saying one way is superior to the other way, and I hope you let me know in the comments if you prefer playing with modern mode or classic mode. Now, with that out of the way, let's get started.
Well, there it is. The wilderness lies directly ahead of me. All I need to do is cross that ditch. I'm a little nervous. I've got this 10K, which maybe I should have done after going to the wilderness, but whatever. Too late now. Got these fancy boots, which, I mean, I can get more. I don't want to lose these. It's just 10K. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, is that really going to set me back that much? Yes, enter the wilderness. There we go. Another music track. There's a guy running over there, running from the skeleton. Good luck, guy. Okay, so I gotta start running past enemies now. Took a three, whatever. Okay, but I unlocked the inspiration music track. The way that the grid will work with classic mode is I kind of just strafe back and forth, left and right. And eventually... I will travel pretty much the entire wilderness. Okay, so next I have to try to slip past these skeletons here. Good so far. Ooh, another music track, Army of Darkness. Okay, there's a grizzly bear. I have to get past the bear. It's gonna go wide around. Nobody has to die, bears. I'm so close. Examine statue of warrior. The person was of great importance. Oh, I didn't want the tree. Examine the gravestone. Inscription is worn away and unreadable. So sad.
so I didn't know this was here. And I know now that sometimes music tracks can be unlocked when you go down into the tunnel or the basement or dungeon or whatever. So I'm gonna go down here. There might be a music track to unlock. And I hope that there's no enemies down here to attack me. You make your way down the steps. No enemies to attack me and no music track. Okay, well, whatever this place is, I might be back here sometime. I don't know. Let me know in the comments where I am. Yes, if I leave the Enclave, I'm in danger. I understand the risk. I'm afraid of PKers, but I gotta go out. And just outside of Enclave, there's Moody. So another track off the list. Okay, thugs. I can run past thugs. I can get past those guys. Should be right around here. There's the next music track. Yep, just walking through the wilderness. Level 2 wilderness, to be specific. And there's Crystal Sword. Okay. We got a giant rat ahead. Let's just try to ignore him. Two... Three? Okay, let's figure out... You know what? I've got a genius idea here. Oh, that's a Black Knight. Actually, we won't cross. I was going to cross, but no, the Black Knight's staring there. We're just going to run past the rat. Oh, he didn't aggro me. Cool. And there's the Forbidden music track. Or I should say, the music track Forbidden. <laughs> it's not. It's not some music track that you can't listen to. The track is called Forbidden. Another music track, Dark. I don't think I've ever been here either. Whoa, okay, <laughs> so there's there's a dragon right there. Uh, okay. It's more dragons. They will one-shot me. There's, oh, okay, hill giant there. I don't know what would be, like, the best way to go about. I gotta, I think I gotta just risk it. I gotta just go. I gotta just run. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> there's, more, there's more of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try to go around. Ooh, but there's the Int there. Okay, so I would rather take my chance with the Hill Giant than the Int. <sighs> Now's my chance. Now's my chance. Run, 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 run. Oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. One, get on over there. Back to back tracks, okay. Oh, there's more grizzlies. I gotta pay attention. I really gotta pay attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. That was a little too close for comfort. Hmm. Once again, once again, there's a cave I can go in. I'm gonna go in it. I'm gonna go in it because sometimes you unlock music tracks doing this. So I'm gonna do it. While I'm here, I'm gonna do it. I don't have a hundred thousand coins in my inventory. I guess I won't go in it then. 
Okay, the map is telling me that was Revenant Caves. I have never, I don't, I have never seen a Revenant. I've never done Revenant Caves. Looking forward to that someday. I have a feeling that's going to be a long way off in the future. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go around. We're going to go around the fortress. Oh, thank goodness for a second. I was like, wait, there's somebody there, but it's just this guy, Sam. Thanks for not killing me, Sam. Can I unlock the music track now? It says that I can unlock Legion here, but maybe I have to really be like inside of that place to unlock it. I don't really want to go in there right now. Oh, this guy wants a piece of me. You want a piece of me? Well, too bad, buddy. Too bad. Oh, well, I don't know why I couldn't get Legion there. Maybe there's a little bit of misinformation going on. Who knows? I'm going to keep moving, though. I don't want to stay in one place too long. So this place has the little tiny rats, level ones, and then it's got the giant rats, level sixes. If you examine the rat, it says a popular dwarven delicacy. Wow. Now I'm at level 26 wilderness. Really starting to feel... Kind of afraid here, like, okay, those, whatever the Anku is, they're 86, and they will one-shot me. We're just going to move on over. So there's another music track I'm supposed to unlock here. Jail, which I know is spelt like G-A-O-L, but it's pronounced Jail. I don't know that just because I've been playing Elden Ring or anything like that. But that's not unlocking here either. Oh, I'm just going to keep walking again. Kind of funny we saw some PKing going on. It's kind of to be expected we are in the wilderness, but I wasn't sure if I'd ever actually like see any for this episode, so that was kind of fun. Sorry for that guy, but also happy for that other guy. Whoa. That... That was a big... Whoa... Okay, right there. Level 154. Is he looking for me? I don't want I don't want that guy to see me. What's his range? Just trying to listen to the music, buddy. some kind of like camp up there i'm just going to avoid it though i'm just here for the music that's a chaos dwarf i got too close i got too close run 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 he hit a three. Oh my goodness run get out of there i got too close run don't let don't let the chaos dwarf be the one to end my my living spree here okay there's another music track hold on poisonous spider yeah that looks like 
Looks like something that'll kill me. Let's just hang out for a second, heal up, and, you know, plot the course of where I'm going to go next. Actually, it's good that I stopped to rest because there was a music track I wanted to unlock up here. Nice. Black Knight over there. There's a steel dagger. Can I take that? Can I take the steel dagger? I can. Right on. Can I equip it? I can't. <laughs> I need an attack level of five. <laughs> I can't even use the steel dagger yet. Come on now. Yeah, people, they go to lava dragons, and it's like somewhere through here, so... Maybe I can just, like, run past anybody that I see. Oh, new music track. Okay, there we go. That was simple enough. So I'm at this wall, this fence, and I haven't unlocked the next music track yet. wonder what's going on. Oh, figured it out. I already had that track unlocked, and the next one's going to be a little bit to the left. And another music track. Let's examine that corpse. Now that's what I call a slim line. It's a giant demon there. This is no time for comedy. Out of run energy. I did get the music track though, so that's good. And there's Wilderness 2. So with Wilderness 2 unlocked, I've finished all of the music tracks that are south of this wall. Now I need to go somewhere I've never gone before in RuneScape, beyond the wall, and unlock a couple more music tracks that are to the farthest north. Someone appeared. I unlocked Venomous, and just like that, this is the furthest I've ever been north. There's another music track, Regal. And I've unlocked Everlasting Fire. So with this music track, there's actually something really cool about it. This is the first music track not to be recorded by Ian Taylor. This is the first music track in the game that was recorded by Adam Bond. Let's listen to it.
Go, 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 go. That was high action. That was extremely tense. I'm like sweating. Oh my goodness. So here's a place I'm curious about. Mage Arena. I still don't fully understand like what this place even is. So hopefully someday I can really check that out. I waited a little bit for some run energy. A window of opportunity. That was my moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's next? What's next? Giant bat? That's even scarier. Giant bats are even scarier. Let's just try to walk over here-ish. And there it is. Pirates of Peril. Climb up the stairs. That was a music track. Wow. That, uh... That was frightening. I'm gonna be honest. I'm surprised I lived. I thought some low-level PKer would end me, or I'd run into some monster, and then that'd be that. But I actually lived. I had some funny conversations with people along the way. I unlocked a ton of music tracks... And I've seen things I've never even seen before in the game. I can't wait to come back here someday when this account's higher level. I can't wait to see what I'll be doing quest-wise or collecting resources or just whatever. Whatever I'm doing. The wilderness was fun. And I'm sure it'll be more frustrating when I actually die and actually lose valuable stuff. But even then, I feel like that's part of the game. I'm looking forward to coming back, but not anytime soon. There's way too much for me to do on this account for now. So I think it's time to head back to Lumbridge. What? I can't use this teleport. Ah! Let's just run past these guys. I'm just gonna run. Ooh, this is my window. This is my window of opportunity. I'm just gonna run. And the gate was still open. Nobody was here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, bear. Dragon. Okay, just run. I'm starting to get panicky. Just run. What is what is that? Oh, okay, that's a guy. That's a guy. This is Pharaoh Enclave. But we made it. Okay, Pharaoh Enclave. Hey, can I take these coins? I think I need all the money I can get, right? Yeah, let's take the coins real quick. Yes, cross the wilderness ditch. And that's it. We made it. We made it. Journeyed all throughout the wilderness without dying. Didn't get PK'd. Didn't get one hit. That feels incredible. The brightness is back to normal lighting instead of dark spooky lighting. That was incredible. That was incredible. You're listening to Old School Soundscape on Radio 2007. Yeah! Welcome back to Old School Soundscape. I cannot wait to start leveling up this account. I'm so excited to be playing the Ultimate Iron Man experience, and I'm looking forward to getting a lot of new music tracks. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Let's go start training. So first things first, I should train a little bit of combat so I can walk around and not get attacked or aggroed by everything in the game. I'm going to train some goblins here at Lumbridge. Everybody does it. It's a classic way to train. I'm going to hang out, advertise myself a little bit with the locals as you can see. And let's just see what happens. Maybe I can get some cool drops.
Okay, this is starting to get a little close. I don't have any food or anything, and the goblins are actually hitting me pretty hard right now. So I'm gonna go find an enemy that I can train on that's a little more my speed at the moment. Now we're talking, here's a worthy foe. Here's someone I can take on. Yeah, okay, this is gonna take a while. How about we get another music track going? I got tired of waiting for other players to make campfires for me to cook my food on, so I went up to Varrock to go get a tinderbox and see what else was happening up in Varrock, and I see that there's this newcomer map. So I thought to myself, fuck it, let's buy it. Let's see what this is about. I bet this was useful in like, 2004? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who would... Okay, well, that's kinda cool I guess. I mean it looks cool, yeah. And while killing goblins, I got my first clue scroll of the account. Sweet, let's go do it. Okay, not too hard. Let's see what it was. Okay, that's decent, I guess. I mean, I'll use the bow, the fish, whatever. But, I mean, it's it's a beginner scroll, so, you know, whatever. First clue scroll done. Easy. I like the bow. I got a clue nest while training wood cutting and fire making. Nice RNG. Let's go do this. Goodness, I hate these. They're they're just so tedious. What's this guy's problem? I'm gonna dig here. Yeah, watch me dig. That's what I thought. Walk away. Okay, well let me in the house though. There might be there might be treasure in here, so I'm just gonna dig up your entire kitchen. Hope you don't mind. Let's try here. There's two guys in here. Okay, wow, both of you can watch me dig up the kitchen. Nope, not here, okay, just don't mind me, just digging a little bit, okay, and not here, maybe, maybe I go out of the house, okay, yeah, maybe I keep going, sorry about the kitchen, fellas. Okay, you gotta be in the corner of the temple, you gotta be here, it's not here. Let me make it past the bear. It's past the mines. It's not here, not here. Let me just go here. Hopefully it's a little bit closer, but I don't want it to be right next to the bear. I don't want to have to fight that right now. 
Nope. Okay. Actually, I'm noticing there's a giant arrow flashing on my mini-map right now. Okay, it's over there. Well, I didn't really want to unlock any Al Karid music tracks this episode. But I want that clue scroll treasure, so looks like I'm off to Al Karid. Music track. I didn't even know you could get one up here. Okay, second clue casket. Let's see what's inside this one. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm just wearing a chef hat, so the, the coif? Is that how you say these? That'll be decent, I guess. Uh, the fish I can just sell. Yeah, okay, I'm starting to look a little swagged out. Got some Ultimate Iron Man swag going on. I've been doing enough skilling, enough leveling, enough training. It's time to do some quests. So let's do some Sheep Share, and then I'll probably do Prince Ali, and then maybe like Romeo and Juliet. Just some starter quests. Let's get it done. Psych, another clue scroll. Let's go do this real quick and then back to the quests. Figured I'd go ahead and start Imp Catcher 2. I've got one bead already, but chasing the imps is just a pain, so I might as well start it now so I can get rid of the beads as soon as possible and free up that inventory space. So I was going up to Varrock to do Romeo and Juliet, and I found these guys that, well, I'll just let the footage speak for itself.
This, is, this quest is actually kind of funny. I like that they also kept in like these cutscenes. There's a lot of other quests where like the original cutscenes and animations and everything like they're kept in. Here we go. He's going to her, and there's the cousin. <laughs> It's still funny. I don't know. I've seen this a couple... I'm sure everybody's seen this like a million times, but... It still makes me laugh. It's funny. Thanks for watching and listening. It's been fun getting random gear and training some skills up. I got, I mean, like 20s and a lot of the common skills. So, for now, it's kind of just going to be training up these easy skills and doing quests to kind of skip a few levels. A lot of the early game, I think, is pretty set forward, so I just gotta do it, and I'm really looking forward to it. This was really fun, it was fun to record, but it was also just fun to play. Uh, Ultimate Iron Man is so far pretty fun. Nothing too, <laughs> nothing too, like, frustrating yet. I'm sure I will eventually hit spots where I'm like, this really sucks, but for now, I mean, it's golden. I, I like how kind of wacky my character looks, I like getting a little GP stack going on, and, uh, I don't know, I just enjoy playing the game, so... Leave a comment, like, you know, whatever. Let me know if you like the series. Let me know how it goes. And I hope you subscribe so you can catch my next episode. Until then, see ya. Hey everybody, DJ Melon Stack here. I know I said the next video was going to be an actual progression video, however, it's the Halloween event, so I decided to go do the event, you know, have a good time, see what's up this year, and unlock the Halloween music tracks along the way. So I'm going to showcase a couple more Halloween music tracks in this video. Enjoy!
This next music track was composed by Ashley Bridges, a.k.a. Mod Ash. Welcome back to another episode of Old School Soundscape. Before I show off Christmas music tracks though, let me talk about this account for a minute. When I started this account, I originally conceived of like DJ Melonstack as the radio host that's showing off these RuneScape music tracks. However, as time has gone on, I kind of feel less and less like I'm playing a character and more like I'm just being genuine. Like this is genuinely me talking to you, my viewers, or the audience, or whatever. So, I made a pretty big change to the account since last episode. I changed the account name to OS Soundscape. So anyways, just wanted to get that out of the way. Like going forward, you're going to see OS Soundscape instead of DJ Melon Stack whenever I'm talking to NPCs or whatever. But it's really no big deal. Other than that, everything's still the same with the account. So, without further ado, let's listen to some music tracks. This line is not moving. It's taking so long. Let's go. Come on. That guy's just going. He's just going right up to Santa. Look, that guy's just going. He's just going up to Santa. Okay, I gotta take my turn. I gotta just go. Okay, I gotta help this dwarf cheat Christmas so that he can go to the pub. Hey, Santa. Okay, let's see the festival games. That's our first task. What do we gotta do? I'm ready. I like the cold bag. I kind of want to keep it. Can I just run off the bat give it to him? Okay. They're coming for me. No, you aren't. Get away. No, I don't want your coal. It's a big old pile over here. Another big old pile. They said there's like a max though. Like, I'll take it out, so I better not like... Okay, this is chaos. Alright, no coal. Somebody's out though. I'm gonna be the final contender. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna win. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna win. Wait, one sec, one sec, a little bit more, almost, one sec, and out of there, gotcha. That's what I'm talking about, King of Christmas, where's my prize? Next game, actually, alright, next game, a riddle. 
They didn't need to do this. Thank you, Jagex, for adding riddles to the festival games. And I'm brilliant. On to the next game. Is that a fucking gnome in the Christmas festival? Whatever, whatever. Gnome with an attitude, nothing new. Just tell me what I gotta do for the Christmas festival. Kick? I can kick the guy? Yeah, I don't wanna kick him. This is Gnome Christmas, you just bully people. Let it rain. Oh! Oh, he's throwing them! Oh! Oh, I see what he was saying with, like, the red ones. Oh, this... I'm colorblind. I might have to turn on colorblind mode. Like, this might be impossible. What's the strat here? Do I just get a bunch? That one's green. That one's totally green. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. I have to brute force it. Minus 10 points. Oh my. This is gonna take forever. I'm... No! And then they just take them. This is impossible. This game's impossible. Nope. Gnomes suck. I hate gnomes. Gnome Christmas sucks. This game's impossible. This is not a colorblind friendly mode. Okay, that one's green. That one's totally green. Just put them in. Just put them in. I don't care. 90 points. That's good. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Get away from me. Get away from me. Kick them. Yeah. This is Gnome Christmas. Get kicked. It's impossible for me to figure out which gingerbread I'm supposed to put in there. And then this guy just shoves all the broken ones in there. I am not going to win this game. Pick them up and put them in. Pick them up and put them in. Pick them up and put them in. I don't care if they're broken. I don't care if they're good. Just put them in. We're going to brute force our way to victory. Stop. Please. Please stop putting those in. I can't even get past 200 points. Stop. Just do a couple at a time. Put them in a couple at a time. Let's see. Are these good? They're not good. Zero points. Minus 10 points. Fuck gnomes. Bruh, stop throwing them. You're the reason they're broken. You can just walk over and put them in. Oh my goodness, this guy's coming back. Kick him, kick him. I got stuck. Okay, whatever. 225 points. I'm so close. Just finish the game. Please just finish the game. Victory. There we go. Bye-bye. Indeed. Bye-bye, you. Bye-bye, gnomes. All right, four minutes, 26 seconds. It's a personal best. It's probably one of the speed run times. It's probably on the board somewhere. Snowball fights. This will be fun. I forgot about the dwarf guy. I'm kind of on the fence about helping him cheat, honestly. Like, I don't want to get on the naughty list myself. And, like, that last game, I had to overcome obstacles to get here. Like, this has been a journey. So, I might just take the gold. We'll see. This is my moment. I have decided I'm going to take the dwarf out. Ooh, it even gives me an option. Yeah, dodge it. Forget you. Yeah, do a dive. And see. <laughs> he went flying. Oh, how much air he got. He really, yeah, he went flying. Look at that. That's pretty funny. This is classic Jagex humor. <laughs> All right, whatever, I'm the winner, let's go, yeah. All's well that ends well. The guy got his beer, I got into the pub. He's already just lost it. <laughs> it's alcohol free, okay, and it's alcohol free, whatever. Event complete, this was pretty fun. This was overall a pretty fun uh, Christmas event. 
a lot of rewards, but since I'm an Ultimate Iron Man, I can't use, like, any of this stuff. Let's check it out, though. Yeah, see, here's the real rewards. We got the music tracks. That's really what this is about, getting those sweet, sweet Christmas tracks. There's also, oh, there's like a lot of stuff. Maybe someday I'll bring some of that stuff out just to wear it to look different or something, I don't know. The sack of coal, I like it. Okay, the hat, sweater I like. Okay, yeah, I don't know. This stuff, I'm not really crazy about this stuff or whatever, so it's fine. Let's just get rid of it. I'll probably go drop the party hats, like at the GE or something, so that somebody can pick them up. Because, I mean, I don't know, they're worth a little bit, so. Try to help others out. Ooh, we got a gnome. We got a gnome on the sack. No, I can't wear this. No, 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 no I can't wear this. I'm not rocking any. Especially after that, that anti-colorblind gingerbread cookie game. No, we're not doing that. Let's have a drink, though. Here we go. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Enjoy enjoy the pub, everybody. And hey, look at that. My personal best times. Looking pretty good. We got a minute and a half on the first one. Four and a half minutes on the second one. Uh, snowball's about two minutes. Those best times got to be bothered or something. Like, people are doing that in, like, 30, 20 seconds. Like, no way. There's something going on there. Listening to Old School Soundscape on Radio 2007. Welcome back to another episode of Old School Soundscape. I'm starting off playing Harmony this episode because, turns out, in my very first episode, right off of Tutorial Island, I made a mistake. See, I played the song Book of Spells, but on the screen it says that I'm playing Harmony. I don't know what went wrong in the editing, like, I was gonna play Harmony and Book of Spells, but clearly I combined them or something. I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna delete it. The video's up. Go watch it again to go see the mistake. Whatever. All we can do now is listen to Harmony for real, and enjoy this maybe most classic RuneScape song.
I just got a book of knowledge from a random event, and I need to put this on a stat, so what's going to be the most helpful stat for Ultimate Iron Man here? Well, think about it. Hit points is the most important stat. Let's just put all bonus XP I get into hit points, and look at that, see? Look at that. I'm already living better. That's the way to do it. So, I don't think I'm going to show off a ton of, like, all the free-to-play quests. I just feel like everybody's seen these a million times already. I'm having fun doing them, and I'm having fun making progress. Like, Cook's Assistant done, a little bit of XP, sure, whatever. But I don't think I really need to spend a whole lot of time showing, like, every quest I'm going to be doing. At least not these free-to-play ones. There's some funny moments, and just great moments or memorable moments in these quests, but... Overall, I don't think I need to do too much screen time for it, so instead, let's just use these as a little bit of a backdrop so we can listen to another great music track. I do love these old school cutscenes though. So I kind of took a little bit of a break from RuneScape while I was working on this video. I'm back now, and there's two things I want to talk about. The first, this camera angle. I feel like this is low to the ground. Whatever RuneLite camera plugin I'm using, I feel like they updated it so you can get way closer to the ground. I mean, look at this. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. Maybe it's always been like this. The second thing, and the more important thing, is it's actually time for the RuneScape anniversary event. So I'm going to go ahead and do the event, have some fun. Let's go ahead and talk to Patty. It's gone all wrong. Luckily, I'm here to fix it. And there's a cake off, okay. What is the cake off? All right. I've started the great Gillenor cake off. Let's do this. Birthday event 2023. Could you fix the tin for me? The clock is like ticking. You can actually hear the clock ticking. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's for me? Alright, yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> a beer and a kebab. All right, I'll just hold on to them for now. Thanks, bud. Find your hat? Your lucky hat. How lucky was it if a goblin stole it? It's a nice hat you got there. It is my cooking hat. I'm really grilling this guy. Yeah, just talk it out. Do I teleport too? Ah, oh, of course not. Okay, back to the castle. A significant amount of mess and noise later. That looks incredible. Am I supposed to see like a cake? Alright. I just bring it to Falador. Of course I gotta go like across the area, but whatever. Oh, sick. Yeah, let's do it. Can I just keep the cake? So let's hit the examine real quick. What if I never finished the quest and I just had the cake? I guarantee somebody's doing that. I guarantee somebody's keeping this cake. Uh, I was too busy talking about keeping the cake. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Where's the guy? There's like a guy. I don't remember what he looks like. 
Okay, he's whacking me. <laughs> Where's the guy? Who do I talk to? Do I talk to Flippa? Nope. You wrong person. Okay, Flippa. How about mysterious old man? There we go. Party Pete. There we go. Show Pete the cake. That's perfect. Just in time for judging. Are there other cakes? There are. I gotta go check those cakes out. That one looks like a pie. Gnome cake. It's the gnome child's enter the cake off. It's not really a cake. I have reinvented the meaning of a cake. Observe the exceptional textures of the crunchy. <laughs> what? These are fucking crackers. Fuck your crackers, you idiot gnome child. Now this is a cake. Ooh, but it's been burned. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, King. Let's examine the birthday cake. Happy birthday. Okay. Goblin cake. Looks like it's made from chocolate. Probably isn't. <laughs> and the dwarf cake. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Looks a lot more like a pie than anything. Perhaps it's an illusion cake. It's, yep, Thurgo. Dragon fire? What are you talking about? Why does it have to be an everlasting candle? Just get a normal candle. Okay, where's Pete? Pete, where you at? This place is chaos. I, I cannot find NPCs. He's in the corner. Okay. Any update on the candle? Yeah, we need dragon fire. I get to judge. Ooh. Okay. First up is Thurgo and his Mkondo Dwarf Cake, or is it more of a pie? It's definitely a pie. We have confirmation. <laughs> yes. Please give us the recipe. It's important that it remains as a pie. <laughs> cut the feed. Yeah, that's cut the feed. What, is there, like, off-camera, like, a charred corpse or something? We didn't even finish the rest of the cakes. Did the dragon just fuck up the event? I should be rewarded. Right on. Dragon candle dagger? That sounds pretty cool. What is going on? What does that sound? Okay, well, happy 10th birthday. Somebody's doing something. Is this from the... What is this sound? Okay, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna use that, so let's just go ahead and destroy. And the gnome child plush, we're not gonna use that, so let's just go ahead and destroy. Okay, so what is this? I could get the balloons. It's a birthday cape. That's kind of cool. Boom. Now that's that's a good photo. Except for everybody in the shot. So thanks to the anniversary event, I unlocked the museum medley track, but I'm not going to play that track for two reasons. One, it's over 11 minutes long. And two, it's just a medley of other tracks from early in the game. So instead, I'm going to play some other music tracks while I finish up some more free-to-play quests. Guys, guys, you don't need to fight over orange and green. I'm colorblind. Come on now. Okay, who do I talk to? This should be like an arrow, like go up here, I guess. Okay. Everybody's fighting. What about a different color? Here we go, let's go.
What? I gotta be like level 35? Well, I guess I gotta fight that thing. But whatever. I'll just do the boy ball quest later. Whatever. Music track, all right, Courage. I'll have to check that out later. See if I can get past the skeletons, no biggie. I can't wait to train agility, like it sucks conserving the stuff level one. Is he aggroing me? <laughs> he is, no, no, please don't. Leave me alone, please. Let me in. All right, suit of armor come to life, that's decent. Okay, so Druidic Ritual isn't really a free-to-play quest, so I'll go back to doing the free-to-plays. But first, let me just say that Horizon is a really great music track. It really does convey a feeling of like, yo, I got members. I'm, I'm going to a whole new RuneScape world now. This is going to be a whole new experience. Like, the game's opening up. There's so much new stuff to go do. It, it, it's great for what it does. I, like, I really feel like Horizon does convey that kind of like a new adventure starting feeling. With that said, though, here's back to the free-to-play quests and some more free-to-play music tracks. So when I first started this series, I wanted to unlock this music track, Nightmare, but I couldn't because I guess you have to go inside the Black Knight Fortress to get it. That time has finally come. 
Okay, he's going to immediately attack me, but that's fine. I don't think these guys are really that much of a threat to me. I didn't really bring much food. I've still got the holiday anniversary whatever rewards, the jugs, wine, the half jugs. Got some kebab. And I guess Quest Helper is just going to tell me where to go. So that saves a lot of time because I, I would have gotten lost in here. So Okay, he's going to attack me. But that's fine. Okay, yeah, I got this. I got this. Let's enjoy the music. Man, what a great track. That is a good track. That was worth the wait. The next quest I'm doing is the Knight's Sword, and I filmed a lot of me getting all the necessary ingredients and making the pie and everything, but I was looking at the footage, and I don't know. Like, there, there's going to be plenty of footage of me grinding supplies for quests and tasks and whatever in this game. <laughs> These guys. Okay, they're doing the quest too. Anyways, uh, there's going to be a lot of footage of that you know, over the course of this series. So I was looking at it, I was like, whatever. They don't need to know how I made the pie. Like, I made the pie. They'll figure it out. So, I'm just going to do the quest, keep it going. Random event. You love to see it. Cool stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's do Knight's Sword. Classic RuneScape moment, you try to go mine some rocks or do something and someone else is already there. Sorry, buddy. And this thing's gonna aggro me, so I'm actually gonna grief too. Yeah, sorry, I just dragged him over. Yep, there he goes. Sorry about <laughs> and he's leaving. Sorry. Oh, he's running in the middle. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't just hope I didn't get that guy killed. That'd feel terrible. That's just great. <laughs> that's that's a noob move. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Okay.
I did not expect this guy to be so hard. I went through all of my food. I'm using prayers. Oh my goodness. No, I'm out. I'm out. No, 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 no. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh my goodness. That is the closest I have come to dying yet. Just get away. I, he, in case he runs out of here or something and chases me down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go train a bit and get more stats and then come back. I had no idea. That guy is, that's like a boss boss. That's hard. This has been going on for a bit. It's been going better. This has been going better. A big number, okay. I don't think I'm doing enough damage. I'm starting to get low on supplies. Yeah, I, don't want to, I don't want him to rock me. Come on, it's close. It's close. Come on, RNG, RNG. Almost. <laughs> Level up magic, good job. No, 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 I'm out, I'm out. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. No, no, no. Holy moly, look at that. One HP. One. Ugh, it sucks to admit defeat, but if Thoi, whatever, is just too hard right now. There's other quests and stuff I can do, so I'm just going to move on. I'll come back some other time. I think the last quest I'm going to do for this episode, though, is Demon Slayer.
It's that time again, old school soundscape. In this episode, I'm doing the waterfall quest. But first, I've got something special planned for the Easter event. So let's get right into it. This is going to be a long series. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get the music cape. And along the way, I want to shout out other content creators. I want to include other people that are doing their own unique Iron Man or their own locked accounts or whatever. I want to help others out. I want to give a shout out to other people. And to start, I got to start with my boys. I'm going to be featuring my friends, 420 Blaze It, the group Iron Man that's on the way to the number one high score spot. We're going to do the Easter event together. and It's going to be a blast. Hold up. Let me, let me eat this. Let me heal. Your foods are cooked meat? Yeah. How much cooked meat do you have? <laughs> this guy, this guy doesn't have a chance. What are we doing? Uh, Tom, your HP, your HP, don't die, don't die. Yeah, I have 31. Go, go steal a cake. I have a few cakes. Yeah, let me just get some cakes. Dang. Oh, run, run. The hero's on you. Run? Run? Run, run, run. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, okay, I'm running. How long does it chase you? I used okay, to be so good. scared of the heroes back in the day, bro. You're good. Stop, stop. I got a music track. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. I need more. Let me eat some of these meat. Yeah, he hit a fat nine on you. Dang. Wait, no, oh. you have oh, to Oh, dude, do it. beekeeper of it. Let's do this. Let's go. Hold on, fellas. Please give me something cool. Okay, beekeeper top. That's fine. I've got 144 go. music tracks. I have 589. I have oh. 637. <laughs> Sorry, yes. yeah, this is where we started, by the way. I recognize this motherfucker. I remember him from the last event. Yo, Gertrude! Hello! Gertrude! What would you tell somebody on Easter? You're right. You're right. Um... Oh, no, you can talk to the woman. Okay, so maybe maybe she saw something. What's up? Are you all right? There's only one of me, friend. Oh, she's drunk. Okay. I'm going with Silk! We both picked Silk. What do you mean, you win? 
<laughs> what? No, there's spade. There's spade spawn up here. Oh, sick. Easy, easy free spade. I took it, so you might need to hop roll. I don't know. How what? <laughs> Tom, what do you? You have a bank. <laughs> Tom. You're not supposed to use a regular spade at all. What? Were we supposed to get a different spade? You're supposed to get one from the Easter Bunny. Uh, oh. he didn't give me one. Examine um, Easter egg and Easter egg. How about examine Easter egg half? Half an Easter egg. <laughs> I, like the, I always like the Halloween rewards the most. I always think those are the coolest ones. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Oh, look at this. <laughs> there it is! Happy Easter! Yo, dude, the, the dagger has a right click change. I just know. did- I just destroyed it! Come on! <laughs> I just destroyed it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just- I, that's my colossal blade. I'm just fucking kidding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, that's me revealing <laughs> that I- I've literally- I've never even been to that area of the game. Those guys are hilarious. Love them. I'm going to put links in the description. Go follow them on Twitch. They're funny. They make great content. They're great at the game. Seriously, go follow them on Twitch. Back to my account, though. I'm probably going to go do Biohazard real quick, and then it's time for Waterfall Quest. It's actually Plague City, not Biohazard. I was totally off on that, but whatever. And there's kind of a lot of requirements I got to do for it. So, I'm just gonna run around and get the ingredients. Let's just let the music play. Got that quest out of the way. It'll make sense in a minute why I had to do this quest first. Time to finally start Waterfall Quest. Little man's kind of a brat. I, I won't share the treasure with you then. Yeah, good luck, kid.
This area of the game looks awesome. This is all great. I mean, I know I've got the plug-in on, but still, this is just design-wise really cool. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Inventory space is an issue. I'll just drop the tender box. I can get another one. So let's read the book. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that was a good book. So now the time has come. Why I needed the gas mask. A lot of content in this game is unfortunately gated behind gnome content. So I need this to protect myself. Let's put it on and head over to the to the strong... Oh, there's one now. There's another one. Yep, let's just go. Let's run. The air itself... Oh, no, oh, it touched me. Oh, my goodness. Gnomes, get out of here. I hate gnomes. I'm coming back here to train combat. You mark my words. Oh, my goodness. There's too many. There's too many of them. Just keep running. Just keep... Ah, turn, turn the other way. Turn the other way. Too many gnomes. Too many gnomes. I think I'm out of the woods. I think I'm out of the woods. So I have to go into the gnome maze now to go down the ladder or whatever. So... I think I'm actually going the wrong way, but whatever. I think there's two entrances. Ooh, it touched me, it touched me. There are way too many gnomes, way too many gnomes. This is a very dangerous place to be. And this, this tricksy maze, they do this to, to capture people, to make them lost in here, and then who knows what they do. I'm not reading this. Okay, yeah, I need to free up space again. Hope I don't need this book. We're just gonna drop it. I probably don't need that. I'm thankful I brought the gas mask. I couldn't imagine talking to this gnome without protection. Yeah, let me have a look. I wanna, I wanna see for myself. I don't have enough room. Okay, so this, the whole Ultimate Iron Man thing, it's starting, it's already starting. I'm gonna have to learn how to manage my inventory better than this. Let's go through it again, you forgetful gnome. Yeah, that's on you, bud. Okay, I got the pebble. Elven junk. Yeah, a gnome wouldn't appreciate the the elven superior quality here. You, you gnome who can't appraise anything. Have fun staying down here in the gnome cave. A moment of silence for those poor souls, clearly victims of gnome atrocities. Bet they got lost in the maze. Let's finish up this quest. I'd forgotten about this requirement, so this is going to be the first kind of like Ultimate Iron Man dropping items thing going on. You can't take any armor or weapons down into this tomb, so... Just going to have to drop everything. I forgot I had that new hairstyle. I'll probably go back to the bald. I just... I'm too used to the bald look. Goodbye, cape. It's fun to have you. Take the gloves off. It's probably not allowed. Oh, you have to destroy the fancy boots. I'm probably not gonna go get other ones of these. I'll probably just buy like real boots. End of an era. See you, fancy boots. Okay, what else, what else? I don't think there's any gnomes in the game, so I can safely drop the gas mask. Let me in. What? Am I not clicking the right spot? Let me in! <laughs> the clock is ticking, I dropped my stuff! What's the issue? Open! Is there a password? Do I have to click at a certain spot? What gives? I I have the stuff. Let me in. Is it because of like the rooms? Okay, it was. But don't I like need the runes? Can I go back and get them?
That's a huge hit. Okay. Please do not kill me. Okay. Got the urn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't kill me. Please do not kill me. I do not want to have to walk all the way back here. Okay, stay aggro to me. I made it. I made it. Okay, okay. Let's go finish this up for real. Let's get my stuff back. Where's my helmet? Let's put the gas mask back on, I guess. Did it despawn? Where's my other stuff? Where's my stuff? <laughs> what? Fortunately, I'm early level, so that stuff isn't too hard to replace. Kind of inconvenient, though. Let's just finish this quest, get it over with. Let's go in here. Let's get it done. Okay, so can I aggro the spider guy, bring him over here, and then will that count for me running past? I think so. Oh, he looks mad? Doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> good thing there's doors in the cave. There it is. Waterfall quest done. 34 strength, 36 attack, several combat levels at once. You truly love to see it. So the other rewards, they'll help a little bit trying to replace some of that equipment that's lost. Again, I don't know what happened there. I think someone probably just came by and was like, that's mine now. Thankfully, they didn't take the runes I needed for the quest, so whatever. this guy for real? Typical known behavior, known behavior right here. You just do your job for you.
there's a decent amount of agility levels, but before I go, I'm going to train some combat. I feel like Sheep Herder has an undeserved bad rep. It has good quest rewards, and I really don't think it's that tedious. I don't mind this quest. Look at this. Someone dropped an Adam and Axe right here at the Lumbridge spawn. This is taunting Ultimate Iron Man such as myself. SMH my head. I'm training up my skills and doing clue scrolls as they come. I came to this area, and I realized that there's water and fire runes that spawn here. Decent loot. Okay, I can sell that. No biggie. It's whatever, beginner or easy or whatever, so I don't expect a lot of loot. Anyways, so there's a couple runes that spawn here. I've got a genius idea. If I pick these up, I switch worlds. Any of these will do. Come on, load in, please. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Easy rune source. That's, that's perfect. That is a massive amount of runes. I mean, not really, but that's still kind of decent. So I'll just, I'm going to warl off and collect some of these just because I can. Why not? I'm still doing clue scrolls as they come. I need a gold necklace, so I went down below West Verrock Bank like the internet told me to, and the way is locked, so I can't get the necklace, but I did get a music track, which was surprising. Wagon part of the quest. I like did a double take. I was like, bro, what is this? Oh yeah, I'm doing the quest. So if I left, would this just stay forever? I wonder if anybody's ever like kept instant stuff like this around for a long time. <laughs> he's picky. Man, I don't know what he's doing. Potatoes are good. 
Yeah, potatoes are solid tier vegetable. I know someone in the comments gonna be like, it's a tuber, it's a root, but whatever, it's a veggie, come on now. Carrots are vegetables, right? I feel like carrots actually are vegetables, none of this like technical whatever. Yeah, I don't know, my, my farming level's one. Okay, I don't know this stuff. Someone's gonna have to get some vegetable education in the comments because I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Ooh, solid transition to a cutscene. If you've been watching this channel for a bit, you know I love these old school cutscenes. Noticing a lack of potatoes in the pile, buddy. Hope you're off to go get some potatoes. Okay, well, that was easy. Let's take some foot. I can only take one foot. All right, the game thought of everything. The pigger they are. <laughs> the pigger they are. Am I right or am I right? Okay, whatever. Let's wrap this up. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks so much for listening. This has been Old School Soundscape on Radio 2007. This account's starting to feel free. Feels like I'm starting to have the ability to just go places and train and level and start doing quests and, you know, whatever else. I don't have to worry so much about not doing too much all at one time. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part was. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the series is and what you're looking forward to in the future. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to training some combat. So until next time, take it easy.